In this video, we take a look at how to construct a linear search in Python. Now, this can be found on the paper four exam of Computer Science 9618, that is Cambridge Computer Science. So you definitely wanna know how to construct this and pick up those points on your paper four exam. Now, a linear search is when you iterate through each item and you start at the very beginning. So here's my list I have here. I have turkey, I have stuffing, potatoes, pumpkin pie, blueberry pie, and apple pie. So I'm going to ask the user what they're searching for, which means I need a variable called item. And I'm going to take input from the user and I'm going to ask them, what item are you searching for? So I'm just going to ask them that. Then I need a found variable that's going to be Boolean. And what it's going to do is it's going to call my function linear search. Now there's a couple arguments I need to pass that will be accepted as uh, parameters. And that is gonna be my list. I wanna pass that and I wanna pass the item they are searching for. I go up to my function linear search. It's gonna return whether or not the item is found. So I'm gonna call it uh, p list for a parameter list and then p item for parameter item. I'm gonna get rid of this pass here. Now when we're iterating through uh, the list, we want to start at index zero. So I'm going to do four I in range. I want to start at index zero. And what I want to do is I want to go the length of P list. Now, when you do that, you may be saying, okay, well, I know the last index here is zero, one, two, three, four, five. But if I'm going to the length of P list, that is six. Well, remember, when you're doing a for loop in Python, the beginning number is inclusive, the second number is exclusive. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start at the very beginning, go all the way to the end of the list, which will be, because length p list is six, it'll actually go to five. Now I need to check if the p list i, if that is equal to the item they are searching for, then what we want to do is we want to return true and that will exit the search. It will not iterate back around. In a function, anytime you hit a return statement, it's going to uh, exit that. So now I can do my if statement and say whether or not the item was found. So I can say if found, which means if found equals equals true, I'm going to print item was found. And then I can use an else statement and I would print item was not found. And just like that, we are done with our linear search. There's only one thing left to do, and that is to check it and make sure it works. So what, um, what item are you searching for? Let's say we're searching for turkey and we want to spell it correctly. Item was found. We run it again. This time, let's look for pecan pie, one of my favorite uh, pies. Item was not found. Well, I'll need to add that to my shopping list. Uh, let's look for potatoes. Item was found. With a linear search, it starts at the beginning. If we're looking for potatoes, it checks that first item. It isn't potatoes, so then it goes to the next one. Stuffing is not potatoes. Then it goes to the next one. We have found potatoes, so then it returns true. It does not continue searching the rest of the list. If we're looking for pecan pie, it checks each one of these, and when it gets to the last item, it never returns true, which means this else statement runs saying item was not found. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to help the channel grow. And we'll see you guys in the next programming video.